For patients that are considering a vasectomy, there are some key points that everyone should be considering as a couple and whether this is the right decision and the right time. Things to consider for a vasectomy is, are you sure that you do not want any future children? The reason for this is that a vasectomy reversal is a much more complex procedure. It requires general anesthesia, needs to be therefore done in the operating room. It isn't always a successful procedure and is often an out-of-pocket cost that can total more than ten dollars to $20,000. So the first thing when I sit down with patients is I tell them or ask them, are you sure that this is what you desire and are there any questions regarding this? Once we are sure that they do not desire any future children, we talk about the procedure. In general, a vasectomy is done in the office for the vast majority of patients. It can be done in the operating room for patients with difficult anatomy, if they've ever had prior surgery on their testicles or scrotum or would be more comfortable in that setting. The other 99% are done in the office and use local anesthesia. I often compare this to visiting the dentist in that it is a pinch and a burn sensation. After that, there should not be much pain, but there is still pressure and tugging sensation. It overall takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Because you have two testicles, there are two tubes that carry the sperm, so we uh, work on both sides to cut out a portion of that, and then we clip and tie the edges. In general, the recovery is pretty well tolerated. We recommend taking anywhere between one to two days off of work to rest and relax. It does indeed help as the commercials that you often see to take it easy, use a bag of ice or frozen peas. Overall, we recommend Tylenol or Ibuprofen for pain and this generally is more than sufficient along with the local numbing medicine. You will have stitches that dissolve over time, so you don't have to get those removed. People can generally resume full activity over approximately seven to 10 days in which they go back to strenuous workout or exercising or other activities. After the vasectomy, you still need to wait a period of time here at the Iowa Clinic. We recommend three months of still using birth control methods, whether that's condoms or the other partner's birth control. And at three months, we ask for a semen sample in which we look for the presence of any sperm. If they are no longer present, then we say that the vasectomy has been a success and that you are okay to resume intercourse without contraception. If you are interested in vasectomy, we have a process in which you can schedule online and pick your provider as well as a time and a date. We alternatively can have you call the office and we can get you scheduled. The procedure slot itself takes usually 30 minutes and we do also uh, offer one of two ways of being seen and counseled for the vasectomy. And the patients that are very sure that they want the vasectomy, they can come in, talk about the vasectomy, have the counseling and if they are still ready to proceed with it, we can actually do the procedure immediately following that counseling session. Alternatively, if patients are somewhat unsure or have a lot of questions that they would like addressed prior to considering it, we also offer new visits for patient consultation to go over those questions and concerns, and that patient may then schedule the vasectomy at a separate day at their convenience. In order to schedule your vasectomy consultation or procedure, you can visit theiowaclinic.com or call and schedule with our office.